Hello, I'm Brian Johnson, and we're gonna use the Clary's Pal to identify the radial nerve um, for a potential radial nerve block. So you have your, your probe, and you have the Clary's app. You want the setting under nerve. And basically what I do for the radial nerve is um, I kind of put the probe over the mid forearm. And there's actually three um, nerves that run through the forearm and all of them can block. So you have the radius, the median, and the ulnar nerves. The teaching is, is the radial nerve runs radial to the radial artery. The median nerve doesn't have any vasculature with it. And the ulnar nerve is ulnar to the ulnar artery. And so for the radial nerve, really what we want to do is I can identify the radial artery, which we're seeing here. It's kind of on the radial aspect of the uh, forearm. And what you're seeing is this pulsatile structure in the middle, and that's the radial artery. And adjacent to it is the radial nerve, this sort of hyperechoic structure that when you, what we'll do is actually we'll make that depth a little better. And you know it's a nerve because it's really hyperechoic and honeycombed. And when you fan back and forth, sometimes that brightness can change. Now, the interesting thing about the radial nerve is that it kind of runs pretty tight with the radial artery. And so you really want to fan up and down the forearm to find the best place for potential needle administration. And we're just moving up the arm towards the antecubital fossa and we're moving down towards the hand. And what you want to do is identify the appropriate place to administer a needle. I'd probably go right around here, to be honest. You have a nice approach far away from the radial artery. Now, you can do radial nerve blocks blindly, but with ultrasound, um, it improves your accuracy and it minimizes your complications. Thank you.